Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Physics Pen back with another video and we are going to start this video from where we left the previous one. But to add a little bit of context to this video, we will do a recap of what we have already done. In the previous video, we were talking about unit vectors along the radius and the tangent of a particle executing circular motion about a fixed point O. And for ease, we took O as the origin of the xy plane in consideration. Uh, so we can simply say that the particle was going round and round about the origin. Uh, we assumed that the particle was at position P, where OP was making an angle theta with the x-axis. So we got the radial unit vector ER as I cos theta plus J sin theta and the tangential unit vector ET as minus I sin theta plus J cos theta. In this video, we are going to calculate the position vector, the instantaneous velocity and the instantaneous acceleration for the same situation. Calculating the position vector is a piece of cake if you are familiar with the vector algebra. You simply need to draw a straight line between the origin and the particle's position, then take the component of that line along the x and y axis and write them down as the coefficient of i and j respectively. Or you can simply multiply the length of the line with the unit vector that represents the direction of that line. In our case, it is really simple since we already know that the particle is moving on a circular path with the origin of the xy plane as its center, which clearly means that the line drawn between these two points will always be the radius of the circular path having the radial unit vector as the representer of its direction. The instantaneous velocity is the differential of position vector with respect to time. Since r is a constant, the equation can also be written like this. Big crow, you know, it's a rare thing nowadays. The instantaneous velocity is the differential of position vector with respect to time. Since r is a constant, the equation can also be written like this. Now, the coefficient of i is cos theta, which is the function of theta, and theta is the function of time. So, it can be differentiated as we did in past. And so will be done with the coefficient of j. The common d theta by dt can be taken out of the bracket since d theta by dt is the angular velocity which is often represented by omega. The instantaneous velocity can be written as r omega times minus i sin theta plus j cos theta. The magnitude of instantaneous velocity, if we calculate, will be r omega. And if we divide it with the vector quantity, it will give us the unit vector of minus i sin theta plus j cos theta, which is the unit vector same as the tangential unit vector, which indicates that the direction of instantaneous velocity will be along the tangent. The instantaneous acceleration is the differential of instantaneous velocity. So to differentiate instantaneous velocity, we have to keep in mind that omega, the angular velocity, can also be a time-dependent quantity if there exists some angular acceleration. And here we have two time-dependent quantities, the angular velocity and the unit vector along the tangent in product form. So we will apply the product rule for differentiation considering omega as a and the tangential unit vector as B.
So now after differentiation, uh, we can replace i cos theta plus j sine theta with er, the radial unit vector, and minus i sine theta plus j cos theta with et, the tangential unit vector. And here we have two different parts of acceleration. The first one gives us the acceleration along the radius, but the negative sign shows us that it's inwards. Okay, uh, And the second one gives us the, ten the acceleration in the tangential direction, since it is in the multiples of the tangential unit vector. Uh, but in the second part, we can replace omega r with v, since we already know that omega r is the magnitude of the tangential velocity. So yeah, uh, I think that's it for today. Uh, please give your comments on this topic. If you understand it, it's really fine and it is kind of like a respect for me. And if you don't, please let me know. I will try my level best to explain it a little bit more.